unit. 513. Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. You can see where we're at. South Deschler. For significant reason. That you see the video title. We're going to be out chasing the spirit of armed forces 1776. It is going to be leading on I-142. It's going to North Baltimore, Ohio. So we decided to head over to this Deschler and then chase it from there. However, I decided, well, I saw this type of shot on Flickr and decided to come over here. That was a white move. Saw a Mentra SD70 and then right after like 10 minutes later 1776 was I-142 it's all Woody here and he was very he's, he's kind of short today 142 is usually long but he's quite short not like a very 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 short but he doesn't have a much as much 130 cars at least I know that Probably at least 40 to 60 cars. That's not bad. Anyhow. We're just going to get set up here. We're 1776 here at South Deschler. Oh man, <laughs> we decided to get back in the car because, well, we started to chase here, South Deschler, to Deschler. Now, there goes 1776. He's slowing down because he has a wet signal. So he ain't going to be moving anytime soon for quite a while. Anyhow, we decided to get some trains here at Deschler. Well, because there was a couple trains that were coming. An eastbound and a westbound met here at the Diamond, here at Deschler. Well, I would say that was a perfect, and I mean perfect, meet here. And now we got I-192, heading for North Baltimore. Yep, you guys saw that white. An NS-9 was leading I-192 from Preciso to North Baltimore, Ohio. The NS that was leading was a surprise because I thought it would be a, another Unit Pacific leading with another Unit Pacific unit. So, 
But with an NS, being on CSX is a treat. Even though I see NS a lot in my area, that's certainly the Toledo area, that does not surprise me to see a lot of NS. But it is still cool to see. Even though CSX is starting to go bye-bye with their old fleet of Dash 9s and Dash 8s, even though some of them are still allowed, and still out running trains. Well, <laughs> this was a lucky surprise as well. A BNSF was leading this I-171 from the Baltimore to Chicago, and then the two trailing units will surprise you. With some more NS-9s, I thought, hmm, that's a pretty cool lash up with a BNSF leading and two NS-9s. Especially, NS doesn't come through here in Bachelor. They run on their own system. Well, they sometimes run as form power on CSX system. So that's what 171 was doing. They usually have BNSF leading, but sometimes they've been getting a lot more form power on the train. Same thing with I-191 and I-192. Those trains have been getting more and a lot more form power. One day I heard that there was a Kansas City Southern Mac leading on 191. Well, that was back in day. Now we're here, in December, at the end of the month, where the year is going to be coming to an end soon, so this would be the last special catch that I would actually get in 2023. However, I do have some very special plans in 2024. You can see there's a lot of Amazon Prime containers on this I-171.
After 171 passed, 142 ending up getting a signal and they ending up getting on the move again. 142 would get their signal. The only signal they can only get for right now is a small approach. Hey, that's what they can do for right now. But I get the drone up. This is a pretty good view. Anywho, instead of focusing with the drone, let's focus on to 1776. Even though we're still chasing it, it's still cool to see, because let me tell you guys something. 1776 is one of my favorites of all the spirit units that CSX have made. Well, we're outside of town now, and I would thought 1776 would actually get onto the move, like, full speed ahead. I was completely wrong. They would have a stop signal here at the next signal, and stop at the this random crossing that we decided to go to. Well... They end up decided to, to stop here for a little bit because my guess is 192 is still stopping Hoytville. So they cannot move 142 till um, 192 is in the yard, which, not gonna lie, it's not surprising that they keep these trains stop over here for how long.
They're back on the move. They end up getting 192 into the yard. Now 142 is getting into the yard. After getting blocked of that Hulk train. B157. That is a daily coke train from Curtis, Indiana. But, however, I decided to do a little pacing shot with 1776. And it ended up turning really good. However, I should not be flying it this far into the yard, basically. I was not too far into the yard, but I was pretty far from the, from the tripod where we were at, bossing. Anywho, this would basically be the last catch of 2023. However, though, I would go back well fanning one more time in 2023 before 2024 would come. But this time, this would be a good time to catch 1776. The last time I saw 1776, it was trailing on IO-16. Which is I-116 now. It was tr trailing as a mid-DPU, and that was like almost 12 months ago. So that's the reason why we decided to get it here, and getting it today.
Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm still learning with the drone here. However, though, this is another, not a coke train, but a coal train. You can see it's loaded. I went to the other side with the drone. It's because we would get a west, another westbound. But it's racing with this coal train. I saw two westbounds. This one, 559, decided to race this one to Deschler because he would take the connection to go south towards Cincinnati. 559 is a thriller to Queensgate Yard in Cincinnati, Ohio. And when I saw these two trains, I thought one of them denied a crew in it, the other one did. And I was really not focusing on that because I was focusing on getting 1776. But he, he's in the ER now, so I don't have to worry about that now. Anyhow, this is a pretty cool race that I'm getting with the drone. If you guys really enjoy this video, I prefer to you guys to give this one a like. And maybe comment as well. Anywho, especially Chasing 1776, we have to end it off here in Hoytsville, Ohio. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. And I will either see you guys in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wales.